Hey everybody, Steve here, and today in this video we're going to talk about some more drone stuff, and we're going to talk about Litchi, and we're going to talk about the difference between having a mission with one point of interest versus multiple points of interest. So let's get at it. Okay, we're going to go to the Litchi homepage, and we're going to go to Mission Hub, and that'll open up our home screen there. And as we zoom out, we can see that uh, I live on the island of Oahu. I go down, and we're going to compare having a mission with one point of interest versus multiple points of interest. Now, what we're going to end up doing here is we've got Diamond Head. It's kind of just below Waikiki. It's up towards the top here, right around there. And we've got this series of buildings here, condos and apartment buildings, with Diamond Head in the background. So I think it'd be kind of neat if we ended up having a video. And then we also got that cool little pool. So the first thing we want to do is we want to put our one point of interest. So we're going to right click on the top of Diamond Head that we see right there. So we've got that. And now what we're going to end up doing is we're going to start putting our waypoints in. So the first waypoint we'll put, uh, how about right there? We'll put another one right there. Another one here. And then we'll kind of continue on. So that's three, kind of back up three, four, five, six, and how about we do seven? We'll draw this one out. Because what, what we're going to do, the plan is kind of, we'll get the view of Diamond Head as a whole, and then we'll kind of back up here and kind of Get that zoom out shot so we'll do that one there i think that'll that'll end up being pretty good now the other thing that we're also going to do is i'm going to show you how to save some time with your workflow and that's by doing batch editing so we look onto our path here and we see that if we click on waypoint one that the elevation is 98 feet so we're going to change that to 75 feet Press enter. You can use the slider bar, but I found that to get the more precise number, type it in and hit enter. Now I could go down and click the next waypoint and enter in that information and press enter and that would be good to go. But if I have a lot of waypoints in my mission, that would take a lot of time. So this little tip is going to help you save time. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on waypoint number three and we're going to hold down our command key on our Mac and click and hold and then we'll click waypoint four, five, and six. And as you can see, all of those waypoints are now highlighted in green. So we've highlighted a bunch of waypoints and off to the right hand side we see batch settings. So now we can apply some variables to all of those waypoints or all of those selected items. For example, we're going to do an altitude of 75 feet. So we'll do that. We'll press enter. We see that the altitude turns red. You could change some of this other stuff like the cruising speed, uh, you know, the heading. Uh, we're going to have a uh, focus POI because we want it to look at that one POI. And now down at the bottom of that, we see cancel, select all. So if I click that, it would select all the waypoints in that mission, but we don't. And then we have the apply button and then, of course, delete. Since we want to apply that altitude to all those selected waypoints, we're going to hit apply. So we're going to go ahead and hit apply. And then all of those waypoints, one through six, have an altitude of 75 feet. Now we can do the same thing. We could take a look and double check that all our POIs, like for example, one, two, and three, it's pointed at POI number one. But for example, if we back up and go to PO or waypoint number two and the gimbal pitch is disabled, we can go ahead and hit focus POI. And we can do the same thing on waypoint number one. So there's a great way to take a bunch of waypoints or even a bunch of points of interest and edit them using batch edits. Now the last thing that we want to do on here is we want to take waypoint number seven and let's go ahead and we'll set that to about, I don't know, 396 feet. So what we'll end up doing is we'll get kind of like a, a modified dolly past all these buildings with diamond head in the background and then it'll pull back and we'll see how massive diamond head is. And that looks pretty good. Now, you always want to go back through and go through your waypoints, check your altitude, the cruising, focus POI, 
and we'll hit all of those. We'll see the curve size. We'll just leave it as is. And uh, I think that's, that's going to be pretty good. I think that'll work. So now that we're done with this mission, we can go ahead and we can export it and check it in Google Earth Pro. To do that, we'll go down to the Missions tab and we'll hit Export as VLM. Now here's, now here's something that you need to know that if you want to export as a VLM, that is not an option with the Litchi program because you need an extension that needs to be installed in that browser that you're using and then that option will come up. Check out the first video and you'll learn how to do that. So now our mission has come up and we'll go ahead and we'll save that to our desktop. And as soon as that saves, we'll click that into Google Earth Pro and there's our mission. So we've got our point of interest, which is over in Diamond Head. We've got, we can see our, our mission. It doesn't look like we're gonna run into the ocean or any mountains or buildings or anything like that. I think that's gonna work out fine. Now we're going to go ahead and go to the left hand side and we're going to double click on the virtual mission and this will show us from the drone's camera point of view what it's going to look like. So here we go, we'll go ahead and run this. So we see we have the pool with the bleachers there, we've got Diamond Head in the background, and now as it continues on we start to see some of these buildings, these apartments and condos which is a great form of movement as it goes across with Diamond Head in the background. Got a nice view of the beach, so if somebody's out on the beach or swimming or snorkeling, paddle boarding, we'll get some, some definite different sizes into what we're looking at here. So we'll see people, we'll see the buildings, and then you see how huge Diamond Head is in the background. Now, it pretty much is a dolly shot going all the way across, and if we speed this up even more, it continues on. Again, we're cruising at about 75 feet altitude, and this is where it starts to come in, and it starts zooming out and showing just how vast Diamond Head is. We get a nice shot of that. Now, that's using... That, that's a really good shot right there. Yeah. I mean, you could even get some pictures of that, and that would look really sweet. So that mission looks really good. We see that we have multiple waypoints. We have one point of interest. It kind of does that dolly shot along the, the, the beaches and the buildings with Diamond Head in the background, and we get a lot of nice footage. But now we can switch that up by adding multiple points of interest. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to go back to our mission here, and we have one point of interest, which is on Diamond Head there, and we want to add a couple more. So let's go ahead and we'll zoom in here to where that pool is at. And perhaps that's something that we want to highlight in our video. So we're going to go ahead and right click and put another point of interest. That will be point of interest number two. And we'll click on waypoint one, hit the command key, hit waypoint two and three. Now that those are selected, we'll go to the POI setting here and we'll click on number two. So that way we'll get kind of a kind of an arcing move around that pool because that's something that we want to highlight. So we're going to go ahead and hit apply. And as we can see, yep, all of those are set for point of interest number two. Now we zoom out here and remember we've got this last point number seven where it's again it's focusing on diamond head but let's say that as that is moving back from waypoint 6 to waypoint 7, we want it to kind of pan over and look towards Waikiki area. Well, we can do that by adding another point of interest. So we'll go ahead, we'll go ahead and zoom out, and we can see, and probably about, I don't know, about, about right there, we'll put our third point of interest. And so we go back to waypoint number 7, we'll go to the POI, and we'll go to number three and we're good to go now if we zoom in on waypoint number seven we can see that little triangle drone icon there and we can see that it's pointing in the direction of waikiki and if we look at like waypoint six and five and four they're all pointed towards diamond head so again it's a nice graphical representation of giving you information of what those waypoints and what point of interest that they're looking at Alrighty, now we're not going to change anything else, so we'll go down to the Missions tab. We'll export that as a VLM. 
We'll save that. So now that we've exported that mission, let's go to Google Earth Pro. Again, that opens up and we can see that we haven't changed anything with the existing route. All we did was add some POIs. So we have POI number one, we have uh, POI number two, now it's then of course POI number three. So it doesn't look like we're going to be running into anything. So let's go ahead and we'll run that virtual mission. And what we can end up seeing is, look at that. We'll speed it up a little bit. Remember the first three waypoints are focusing around this pool with the bleachers there. Maybe that's something that you want to highlight in your video uh, then as it continues on. So we get kind of a nice arcing movement to highlight that point of interest. And then as it goes to from waypoint three to four, it's going to transition over to Diamond Head. And so we get a nice view of the beaches and the condos and apartment buildings there along the beach. As we see Diamond Head in the background, again, it's going to continue that dolly shot down. And if we kind of continue this, yeah, we get down and as it starts rising up, now it's going to transition to where it's going to look towards that last point of interest. So we get kind of this panning motion as the drone backs up and looks to the left. And it really opens up and just shows you how massive Diamond Head is and what you can see from Diamond Head, which is basically everything. And so, yeah, we get a real nice shot of where we're at. We get some views of Waikiki and all the buildings down there. And it ends up being just a, a pretty nice shot. And there it is. So now we had the waypoint mission with one point of interest. And then we had the exact same mission with multiple points of interest. And now what we're going to end up doing is we'll run both of those side by side and we'll speed up the videos. And you can leave some comments as to what do you think about the two different types of footage. Put those in the comments section down below. So it's kind of interesting that both of those missions, even though they had a different number of points of interest, that the mission flight time was basically the same. So it really kind of depends on the footage that you want to get by using the Litchi program. So that's going to end up the video for today. Uh, leave your comments in the comments section down below. Don't forget to like. If you liked anything in this video, press that like button. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the bell so that you'll be aware of future videos. So with that being said, we're going to continue on. I'm going to play around with Litchi a little bit more on their mission hub, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace.